Welcome back to Process Mining Explained. Rudy, over these past few weeks, we've done a lot of talking. Can you show me what process mining can do? We've talked the talk, Rudy. Now let's walk the walk and show them the power of process mining. Oh, finally, Chad. You know, I love to show our process mining solution. So look at my screen. What you see is, you know, is our application template. This process you see on the screen was not created by human being, but it was automatically automatically reconstructed only from the data. And this is some real data from one of our customers here in Germany. So this is part of the invoice approval process or accounts payable. It's, it is the um, actually the invoice account, invoice approval process. And here we see, you know, the process. We have these boxes, we call them activities. We have the connections, we call them edges. And because both of my sliders down here are set to 0%, we see only the most common way this process was run. But if I move my sliders to the right like this, you see, oh, there are some less common activities. If I go one more, we get more activities. If I add some edges like exceptions, we will discover there are some, some loops in the process. And if I add one more, we might even discover some compliance issues like here where the some cases, some invoices manage to bypass the mandatory approval step. You know, this is pure process mining. Of course, we can we can filter on it. We can dive in to look for the details, but that's not what I want to talk about today. You know, let me add all my activities. And here now we see the full process. And if I add all edges, then we end up with the 165 different variants of the same process. You know, here it is, 165 different variants. And, you know, to me, this always looks like a little bowl of spaghetti. And I'm fairly new to the RPA family, but my colleagues told me that automating this process would be a really hard one. There are so many exceptions, so many variations, so many loops, and I get it, you know, but let's say we focus only on the five most common variants because out of the 6,100 invoices, almost 5,000, 4,870 are run by the five most common variants. And this looks, you know, so much easier to me, and I'm sure we can automate something here, but where to start? Well, one way is to start with the bottlenecks. So when I switch to my average throughput time, then based on the dark color code, you can see that our significant bottleneck is between receive invoice and process invoice. So without looking farther, we can already see that if we can automate and improve this part of the process, we will really be able to increase efficiency, reduce the throughput time. So this is our automation target. And that's how we use process mining to discover our peer potential. Well, there you have it, folks. Seeing's believing that's real time and live today using real data. Rudy, uh, you want to come back next week and we'll do another one? Yeah, next time I want to show you how we can monitor the impact of RPA. That's great. We'll see you soon.